Welcome to Stefan Marbury's world, his country, his team, the Chinese dream. We'll speak to the man behind the scenes. Let's go. In 2010, in pursuit of more than just fame and fortune, the NBA All-Star took his talents to China at the tail end of his playing career and found fulfillment and appreciation in his adopted nation. Then I came here to Beijing and then we won, you know, we won the first championship. With which team? With Beijing Ducks. Okay. We won right here in this building in 2012. And then we won the championship. After we won the championship, then they immortalized me. They built this statue. And then I was like, there's no way that I could leave China after this. Stefan Marbury went on to reveal to me an honor he received after winning three championships in four years, something bestowed on only a select few. Having a green card creates huge access and the recognition from the government and them um, showing the respect and the honor for you know what was accomplished in playing basketball. Looking back, Marbury said he never thought he would be here for 13 years but never regrets making the decision. I played nine seasons here. Um, coach, been living here, love China, been a great experience leaving the NBA coming here. Now head coach of the Beijing Royal Fighters in China's professional CBA league, he also spoke about some of the biggest misconceptions about his new country. The, uh, a big misconception is how um, people don't really know how, how nice the Chinese people are. They're really, really good people. After spending 12 years in Beijing, the global ambassador of basketball aims to give back to China, Africa, and the rest of the world through his promotion of universal access to affordable athletic footwear. I was speaking and talking to people, telling them, I was like, you know, this is it's a humane story. Yeah. It's not about the selling the shoes. It's about giving the people the opportunity to purchase something at an affordable price. At his favorite place in Beijing, a New York-style pizzeria, Marbury said his daily life revolves almost exclusively around training, working out, and home. I watched him greeting the staff and other customers with ease, as comfortable here as any true Beijinger. Richard Nta, CGTN, Beijing.